The only prototype of an airplane built in the 1950s as a high-altitude, nuclear strike bomber that could fly at Mach 3 is on display at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, AFB, outside of Dayton, Ohio. Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, AFB, which is part of the United States Air Force, houses the museum at three times the speed of sound. The fact that the futuristic-looking XB-70 Valkyrie soared to the sky only 60 years after the Wright brothers completed the maiden flight is one of the elements that makes this achievement particularly amazing. It showed how far people's ideas had come about airplanes in the first half of the 20th century. The North American Aviation NAA, Los Angeles Division built the XB-70A, an experimental high-speed delta-wing aircraft for the United States Air Force. It was built to fly at Mach 3, or three times the speed of sound, at heights of more than 70,000 feet 21,000 kilometers. The goal of the program was to make a high-altitude nuclear strike bomber that could outrun any interceptor that was sent in its way. The Strategic Air Command wanted the B-70 to be a strategic bomber that could fly fast, go deep into enemy territory, and carry nuclear bombs. The experimental XB-70 and the British-French turbojet-powered Concorde supersonic passenger airline, which flew from 1976 to 2003, are built similarly. Both aircraft feature delta wing profiles, and there are design commonalities throughout the plane. On the other hand, it is quite likely that the B-70 design was created long before the concept of a high-speed passenger aircraft was considered. According to the designs that were established when it was first built, the XB-70A, which was powered by six General Electric YJ-93S with 30,000 pounds of thrust apiece and an afterburner, was expected to reach a top speed of Mach 3.1, 2,056 miles per hour, or 3,309 kilometers per hour. It could reach a maximum speed of Mach 3.00 at its service ceiling of 75,550 feet 23,012 meters, but only Mach 1.90 at an altitude of 35,000 feet 10,668 meters. This translates to 1,254 miles per hour or 2,018 kilometers per hour, 1,982 miles per hour or 3,190 kilometers per hour. The B-70 was meant to have a combat range of 3,419 miles, 5,502 kilometers, and a maximum range of 4,290 miles, 6,560 kilometers, 6,904 kilometers. The military planners thought that the bomber could fly so high and fast that it would be hard for any enemy, especially the Soviet Union, to stop it. The XB-70 Valkyrie, on the other hand, was unable to outpace developments in missile technology, which was the one thing it couldn't outrun.